As one of the most densely populated places in the world and a hub of the most developed free market economy, Hong Kong holds numerous interesting aspects that not everyone is aware of. Hong Kong is considered one of the places with the highest number of billionaires in the world. So what is it about the life of the people here that attracts many to travel and live in this place? Join me on a journey to this unique city to explore the life of its people and fascinating aspects surrounding Hong Kong. Number 15. Gaps in Skyscraper Buildings Foreigners visiting Hong Kong for the first time are often surprised to see skyscraper buildings with a significant hole right in the middle, something they perceive as wasting space in a densely populated area. I will reveal to you why these buildings here have such gaps. According to Chinese feng shui theory, these gaps are created as a pathway for divine dragons to enter their dwelling places on the mountains behind the buildings. According to this ancient theory, the prime location of these buildings follows the principles of backing against the mountain and facing the water, meaning there should be a mountain behind and a river in front. Thus, a passage needs to be opened for the dragon to travel from the mountain to the river. Blocking this path is believed to bring bad luck to the residents of the building. The first building constructed in this architectural style is the Repulse Bay, a seaside complex built in 1986, but it's certain that dragons do not actually reside in Hong Kong, or if they do, they must be quite stealthy. Number 14. Haunting Coffin Homes in Low-Income Residential Areas In stark contrast to the glamorous and luxurious images we often associate with Hong Kong, there are also mousehole neighborhoods where life is entirely different. Serving as the residences for impoverished laborers, whose bedrooms resemble cages, the exorbitant cost of renting homes in Hong Kong has forced many low-income individuals to squeeze into cramped living spaces. On rooftops, they have to create their own private rooms using metal cages and makeshift partitions made from scrap wood. The living conditions of low-income workers and families in these apartments are extremely challenging. Everything is divided into tiny portions. The areas referred to as bedrooms in these apartments are only two square meters, commonly known as coffin homes. Inside these coffin homes, the arrangements may surprise many. Each person's living space is divided from a larger apartment with plywood partitions. At the end of the room, there's a small shelf for a TV and personal items, while clothes and other necessities are hung on hooks. Residents in these coffin homes are often retirees, impoverished laborers, drug addicts, and even those with mental health issues. They lack the financial means to cope with the soaring housing costs in Hong Kong. I believe anyone who has a fear of confined spaces would be quite apprehensive about living here. However, managing daily activities in such limited space must indeed be incredibly challenging. If you had to live here, what would your thoughts be? Number 13. Grave prices higher than real estate in Hong Kong. The resting place for the deceased can be even more expensive than the most expensive real estate for the living in the city. With a starting price of 53,000 US dollars for a small space no larger than a shoebox, this is a pricey location, even when compared to other expensive real estate in Hong Kong. Renowned for having the most expensive property market in the world, the intricately decorated white marble interiors of the 12-story Shansu Tower in Hong Kong are not intended for regular buyers. This place is designed for a different clientele, those seeking a resting place for their departed loved ones. Privately operated, this tower, designed by a German architect, serves the purpose of storing the cremated remains of 23,000 individuals. Each compartment accommodates a single urn. Some compartments can hold two urns, with prices soaring up to 76,000 US dollars. Meanwhile, compartments designated for families capable of holding the ashes of up to eight individuals can cost up to 430,000 US dollars. With standard compartments measuring about 0.9 square meters, it is believed that a spot in this tower is more expensive than the priciest real estate in Hong Kong for the living. A villa in the peak area sold for 320,000 US dollars per 0.9 square meter back in March. However, Shan Su Tower, nestled in an old industrial area in Kwai Chung, is not even the most expensive resting place for the deceased in Hong Kong. According to the Consumer Council of Hong Kong, the priciest location is in a complex resembling a temple in the northern suburban area of Fanling. The resting place costs 660,000 US dollars, and this figure doesn't even include a management fee of at least 25,000 US dollars. Despite the high prices, places like Shan Su are not perpetual resting grounds. Cremated remains can only be stored there within the license period granted by the private facility, licensed by the Hong Kong government. 
These licenses have a duration of 10 years and may take several years to obtain through rigorous scrutiny. Sean Su's license extends until 2033. Truly, finding a peaceful final resting place is not easy in this city. Even in death, the cost is higher than buying a home, making the situation quite challenging, especially considering the city's mortality rate of around 46,000 per year in the past decade. The demand for places to store cremated remains is a challenging need to fulfill. Number 12. The world's longest outdoor covered escalator system. Stretching over 800 meters, the escalator system in Hong Kong is recognized as the world's longest outdoor covered escalator system. Apart from assisting residents in easily conquering steep streets, this escalator system allows users to move up and down flexibly to explore bustling markets, antique shops, museums, historical sites, and restaurants in the town. The escalator starts from the lively central district and gradually ascends towards the upscale residential area of mid-levels. This system is not a seamless escalator. It is divided into 20 escalators with three conveyor belts with 14 entry and exit points. You can get on or off at any time. The entire journey from start to finish takes approximately 20 to 25 minutes. With a construction cost of 245 million HKD, approximately 31.2 million US dollars, the escalator system began operating in October 1993 and serves over 85,000 people daily. If you visit Hong Kong, you should experience a segment of this escalator system. Feng Shui plays a significant role in the lives of the people of Hong Kong. Feng Shui holds tremendous importance, and many believe that Hong Kong's current prosperity is attributed to it. For example, Victoria Harbor, tranquil with mountains surrounding both the east and west, creates the appearance of a giant jade cauldron, serving as the central axis that brings prosperity to Hong Kong. In shops, the working rooms of Hong Kong traders often feature shrines dedicated to the god of wealth with 72 protective figurines known as Ling Fu hanging. Ling Fu mimics the design of traditional ancient Chinese artifacts. Business owners believe that hanging these figurines can ward off misfortune, ensure a peaceful life, and bring success to their endeavors. Shops located near intersections often have altars positioned in corners near the entrance. Shop owners must perform daily rituals, lighting incense and offering prayers. For the wealthy elites the importance of feng shui becomes even more pronounced. Many of them have personal feng shui consultants who provide specific advice every month on how to arrange and organize their living and working spaces for the most favorable outcomes. The wealthiest woman in Asia, Nina Wong, passed away in 2011. The person who forged a will to claim $4 billion of her fortune happened to be a feng shui master. Hong Kong is home to many terrifying haunted locations that keep strangers at bay. One notable example is Bride's Pool, a place shrouded in an incredibly chilling story. According to legend, a tragic drowning incident occurred here when a bride was being carried on a sedan chair across a waterfall to meet her groom. As the bridal party crossed the rocks over the waterfall, one of the sedan chair carriers slipped, causing the entire procession to tumble into the lake. Due to the cumbersome wedding dress, the bride tragically lost her life in the deep water. Since then, it is believed that the bride's soul still resides beneath the water, unable to move on. She allegedly pulls down unsuspecting victims to alleviate her loneliness. Some even claim to occasionally see a woman in a red-trimmed gray suit combing her hair by the lake. Another famous haunted location is Dragon Lodge, once the most valuable real estate in Hong Kong. This mansion witnessed the death and bankruptcy of two individuals. Subsequently, the entire household vacated the premises, leaving an eerie atmosphere. During World War II, Japanese soldiers occupied the area and killed several Catholic nuns here. In 2004, during the renovation of the house, construction workers reported hearing strange noises, including the sounds of crying children. Connected with numerous urban legends, the building acts like a magnet, attracting the curious, adventurous and those keen on exploration. The current owner even had to seal off the area with barbed wire to minimize vandalism. If you ever visit Hong Kong and wonder if you dare to challenge yourself to explore these spooky locations, personally, I would pass on that opportunity. One of the most enticing attractions for tourists in this country is its diverse and delicious culinary scene. It's hard to believe but Hong Kong boasts around 15,000 restaurants and cafes, offering a satisfying experience for both taste buds and the spirit. Hong Kong cuisine is a harmonious blend of various cultural influences, including Cantonese, Chinese, British, Japanese and Southeast Asian. 
Wan Chai proudly holds the title of having the most restaurants in Hong Kong and is home to one of the world's cheapest Michelin-starred restaurants, Tim Ho Wan, known for its affordable dim sum. It sells dishes for less than $3. Must try dishes when in Hong Kong include roast goose, dim sum, and barbecue pork noodles. In stark contrast to the impoverished neighborhoods, the super-rich in Hong Kong lead lives that are hard for many to fathom. Living in multi-million dollar mansions and spending billions on horse racing for entertainment, this is a part of the extravagant lives of Hong Kong's super wealthy. Statistics show that for every seven people in Hong Kong, there is one US millionaire. There are at least 10,000 individuals with fortunes exceeding $30 million living here, while those with lower incomes pay $500,000 for nano apartments or tiny flats, or even live in cage homes or coffin homes. The super-rich mainly reside in suburban mansions, especially in the peak, the highest point in Hong Kong. An upscale home in Hong Kong averages around $4.9 million. However, houses in the peak start at around $40 million and can go beyond $100 million. The most luxurious and expensive homes are found in the peak area. In March 2018, a house in this region was sold for $178.4 million, making it the most expensive villa in Asia. Favorite shopping destinations for the wealthy in Hong Kong include the Landmark, with flagship stores like Louis Vuitton and Tim Chaillou, and Canton Road, with a lineup of luxury stores such as Gucci, Marc Jacobs, Chanel, and Dior. As for dining, one of the renowned restaurants frequented by the wealthy is Phuc Lam Moon, where a table for 12 people can cost around $4,000. Comparing this to the impoverished neighborhoods mentioned earlier, the peak is truly a world apart, one side lives in makeshift homes, just getting by day to day, while the other indulges in a lavish lifestyle with spacious homes that can't be occupied in their entirety. When it comes to regions with the highest life expectancy, many people would immediately think of Japan. However, since 2010, Hong Kong has surpassed Japan and become the place with the highest life expectancy in the world. According to a survey in 2017, the average life expectancy in Hong Kong is 84.68 years, while in Japan, it is 84.10 years. So why does Hong Kong have such an ideal life expectancy? Besides environmental and healthcare factors, many experts believe that the longevity of Hong Kong residents is significantly influenced by two words, diet and eating habits. Hong Kong residents have a strong preference for drinking tea in the morning, Additionally, throughout the day, they prioritize consuming this refreshing beverage. Tea contains polyphenols and catechins, which have antioxidant properties. Regular consumption helps combat aging, plays a role in weight management, and prevents cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases. Moreover, the summer weather in Hong Kong is hot and humid, making people feel tired and uncomfortable. Therefore, Hong Kong residents prefer soup, as it helps refresh the body. In fact, cooking soup is one of the essential skills that Hong Kong women must possess. According to their beliefs, consuming hot soup helps regulate the body, detoxify, and provide better nourishment. Additionally, soup is easy to eat, allowing them to nourish themselves even when feeling least inclined to eat. Furthermore, Hong Kong residents place a high value on health checkups in maintaining well-being. If they feel fatigued, they promptly seek medical attention without procrastination. As a result, most of their illnesses are detected in the early stages, allowing for effective treatment. Even when illnesses are identified at advanced stages, Hong Kong residents can still use health insurance, reducing the burden of catastrophic illnesses. Number 6. Highest Rolls-Royce Density in the World Hong Kong is claimed to have the highest average number of Rolls-Royce cars per capita globally. The largest order in Rolls-Royce's history comes from this country, Stephen Hong, a Hong Kong tycoon and star of the Netflix series, is the owner of a custom order for 30 Rolls-Royce Phantoms worth $20 million. Notably, the five-star Peninsula Hotel, located in Sim Sha Tsui, Hong Kong, even has its own fleet of Rolls-Royce cars. These ultra-luxurious sedans are painted in the Peninsula's rooster green, the distinctive color of the hotel. One of the biggest mysteries surrounding Rolls-Royce regarding the owner of the one-of-a-kind swept-tail convertible was finally answered in early 2023. The world's most expensive car at $12 million was bought by a Hong Kong buyer, Sam Legal, the son of real estate billionaire Samuel Tok Lee. He owns a real estate empire stretching from Hong Kong to London and Geneva, with an estimated net worth of $3.6 billion, according to Forbes. For those who love admiring luxury cars, just visit Hong Kong. You'll be surprised by the density of these luxurious cars everywhere. Number 5. Skyscrapers in Hong Kong 
Leading the list of destinations with the highest number of skyscrapers, Hong Kong boasts 657 skyscrapers including six super tall buildings over 300 meters. Hong Kong always attracts travel enthusiasts who come to admire these unique and incredibly impressive designs. Here are some skyscrapers I'd like to highlight. Firstly, the International Commerce Center, one of the famous skyscrapers in Hong Kong, with an astonishing height of 484 meters and 118 floors. Located in West Kowloon and completed in 2010, it features notable amenities such as the Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong, a luxurious hotel, and the Sky 100 Observation Deck, where visitors can enjoy a panoramic view of Hong Kong, including Victoria Harbor. Secondly, Central Plaza. This renowned skyscraper in Hong Kong has a height of 374 meters, comprising 78 floors. Completed in August 1992 at 18 Harbor Road on Hong Kong Island, during the period from 1992 to 1996, it was considered the tallest building in Asia and one of the tallest in Hong Kong. Finally, the Bank of China Tower. The Bank of China Tower is not only a recognizable symbol, but also one of the famous skyscrapers in Hong Kong that you shouldn't miss when visiting this city in the clouds. With a height of 315 meters and 72 floors, it is the fourth tallest skyscraper in the city. Designed by the renowned Chinese architect I.M. Pei, the building impresses with a design resembling an optical prism and is called Ye Bar due to its unique shape. The design, with sharp edges, has sparked much controversy as it does not adhere to the popular feng shui principles in Hong Kong. Many believe that the sharp edges bring bad energy and misfortune. To address this concern, water features were added around the building. Number 4. The busiest international airport in the world. Hong Kong International Airport is located on Chek Lap Kok Island, built by leveling a mountain and using the excavated rock and soil to expand the land area. With construction costs soaring to nearly $20 billion, over an area of more than 12 square kilometers, the airport took six years to complete. It officially opened in 1998 and is operated by the Hong Kong Airport Authority. This airport is one of the largest and busiest in the world, serving as the main hub for Hong Kong Airlines and the city's five other airlines. It connects to over 220 destinations and serves as a transit point for countless passengers. In 2018 alone, the airport transported 5.1 million tons of cargo and 74.7 .7 million passengers. Number 3. Interesting Public Transportation in Hong Kong There are various interesting modes of public transportation to cater to the commuting needs of the locals. Firstly, there are electric trams, an environmentally friendly mode of transport that has been widely used in Hong Kong for over 100 years. Tramway Limited Hong Kong is the sole company providing this means of transportation. There are six main routes running along the northern coastline of Hong Kong Island, operating daily from 6 a.m. to midnight, with a ticket price of approximately 2.3 HKD. One of the famous tram routes with a history of 125 years is the Peak Tram, taking you to the top of the peak to enjoy the panoramic view of Hong Kong. You might feel a bit scared as the tram tilts on the steep slope, but reaching the summit and witnessing the radiant panorama of Hong Kong will leave you satisfied. Next is the double-decker buses, an excellent choice for anyone visiting Hong Kong, due to the exciting experience of sitting on the open top second floor and enjoying the view around the city. Bus services covering all of Hong Kong are provided by Kowloon Motor Bus, New World First Bus, and City Bus in Hong Kong Island and the New Territories. Moreover, being renowned as the City of Harbors, Hong Kong offers ferry services for tourists to sway on Victoria Harbor and admire the colorful scenery of the city. The oldest ferry, the Star Ferry, operates on four routes between Kowloon and Hong Kong Island, providing a common means for tourists who prefer to appreciate the panoramic view of the sparkling harbor lights at night and the skyline. Many Hong Kong residents consider the Star Ferry as one of the most prominent cultural icons of the city since its inception in 1888. The Lonely Planet Travel Guide even mentions that if you visit Hong Kong and haven't taken the Star Ferry, you've missed out on something very special. If you have the chance to visit, which mode of transportation would you like to try the most? Number 2. Neon Signs. A Heritage in Hong Kong. First appearing in Hong Kong in the 1920s, neon signs began to flourish and spread across the city streets in the 1950s through the 1980s. Although concentrated mainly in the bustling commercial district of Nathan Road and the Wan Chai Nightlife District, 
No part of the city is swallowed by the night after sunset. By 1970, entire buildings were covered with neon lights, including the National Panasonic sign on Nathan Road, setting a Guinness World Record as the world's largest neon sign. Subsequently, neon signs adorned hundreds of shops, representing various types of businesses, from restaurants, hotels, nightclubs, pharmacies, jewelry stores, clothing shops, or even porn shops. This testified to the extraordinary development pace of the city. If you're a fan of Hong Kong movies, you'll undoubtedly be impressed by the vibrant neon colors of signs here, with eye-catching shades of green, red, purple, and gold. Neon signs have long become an indelible part of the local culture. However, in recent times, neon signs in Hong Kong are gradually disappearing replaced by energy-efficient LED signs. Naturally, the process and the stories behind each neon sign have become a cultural preservation issue. Chai Kai is one of the eight masters of neon sign making still practicing in Hong Kong. He mentioned that the workload used to be very heavy. He and two apprentices made neon signs, sometimes working so much that they couldn't go home to sleep. Nowadays, reduced demand has forced one to find ways to keep the profession alive, accepting apprentices who want to explore combining neon signs with art. Number 1. Hong Kong celebrates the annual Lunar New Year. As an international and modern city, Hong Kong has never faded from its traditional imprint. You can experience the city's distinctive customs regardless of when you visit. The Chinese festivals celebrated throughout the year are a way for Hong Kong people to preserve their heritage. If you want to experience the last celebration of winter, visit Hong Kong during the Chinese New Year. This is the most important festival in Hong Kong. During the Chinese New Year, you will see both children and adults dressed in bright red costumes, exchanging good wishes with everyone from neighbors to shopkeepers. Immerse yourself in the warm atmosphere. The streets are decorated with golden lanterns and zodiac patterns while the markets are filled with a variety of auspicious foods. Additionally, Hong Kong also has the unique Tin Hao Festival. Tin Hao is the goddess of the sea and the patron saint of fishermen, providing the locals with complete faith in her. On her birthday, locals flock to more than 70 temples across the city to pray for safety, peace, favorable weather, and abundant fishery resources in the new year. Therefore, the reverence for Tin Hao has been passed down through generations, and many young people even welcome this festival. For those who have yet to witness a boat full of fish firsthand when traveling to Hong Kong, choose holiday seasons to truly feel the vibrancy of this place. We have traveled together and explored interesting aspects of Hong Kong life. If you were impressed by any surprising facts, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.